Hi and welcome back to another video. I'm currently at Tashifla. It rained heavily over here last night and this morning the sun is up already. Anyway, this video is about the Asebu Pan-African village. But before I get into the video, I want us to have a look at uh, a drone footage I took of the place. And then after that, we have a little discussion or conversation about it too. Let's take a look. I'm sure you've watched the video and if I may ask what are some of the things that you noticed in the video I'm sure one of the things you say will have to do with the fast pace of development going on over there in terms of building projects but aside from that what else do you notice well for me cutting down of trees or deforestation now this came to attention when I saw a comment on one of my videos last night asking why are they cutting down the trees and it looks like no one is even talking about the cutting down deforestation that is also happening at the Asebu Pan-African village. Now we all know that trees play a very vital role in our entire ecosystem as humans you know trees or plants houses different species of animals birds snakes worms and and so on so then we actually need plants for you know our survival on this earth going to Asebu, some of the plants that i did see over there has to do with um the palm nut tree i saw mango plant i saw coconut plant i saw acacia and you know different other plants that um you know were there or are still there however it looks like um when people are located places where they can put up their building project they are so excited about it you know relocating to ghana relocating to africa and the rest that they don't really pay attention to the deforestation also that they are causing um at the asebu pan african village so an example is where we actually have the three bedroom project done for one of my friends when we got there um there was um palm nut trees but they had been uprooted uh, from there because you know that place has been allocated so it was even easier for us to clear the place because that had been um, uprooted what can be done to minimize the rate at which deforestation is happening at Asebu in as much as people are putting up their building projects what really can be done so in this video I'm going to share some few tips on some of the things that can be done and I believe that in the comment section you're going to get a lot more ideas on some of the things that can be done to help minimize this because trees are really important or plants are really really important so one of the things that can be done is if you intend to you know get something done at the Asebu Pan-African village and you've been allocated a place it is always important for you to go see where you've been allocated and then take into consideration whatever plant that is already on the land and then design your ideas around whatever is on the land you might of course take down some few trees but it doesn't have to be all the trees or the entire trees or whatever plant which is on your land if you already had your plants before uh, getting the land it's also important to maybe tweak the 
um, the plant or the ideas or the design of whatever I intend to put over there to also be able to make way for the plant over there because if you keep putting down all the trees the fresher you go over there that you enjoy and the rest is eventually going to fade away and it's not going to make anything interesting about that say with pan-african village aside from that also some of the things that can also be done as um, putting up you know plants or trees or fruits over there so an example is my friend has touched as to try as much as possible to plant some fruits for her so some of them uh coconut sour sap um sweet sap uh mango and yeah i think basically these are some of the fruits that she wants us to plant and this is important because in as much as um we are excited about our building project um relocating to ghana and so on if we don't pay attention to this also eventually all the trees that are stable that makes it you know a very nice place to be it's going to come down because people have put up building projects and from the video you can see places that has got building projects hasn't got like trees over there you can attest to this like so many of the places that has got their building projects completed haven't got any trees over there which is not so cool so this is just going to be about it for this video um, if you have a chance or happen to watch this video and you want to do something at Asebu, I, I'll beg of you to try as much as possible to take into consideration whatever plants that exist over there on the portion of land allocated to you and then try as much as possible to design your ideas or your building or whatever it is you want to put over there around that so that you don't end up putting down these trees. It will interest you to know that some of these trees have been you know there for so many years like yeah that you can't even tell so putting them cutting them down just to you know create way for our projects isn't the best way to go about this so so that'll be just about it for this video and for the person who drew my attention to this with a comment thank you very much i'm sure hopefully with this we are you know all going to try as much as possible to you know have a positive attitude towards you know some of these plants and in the end i say it's going to be a great place that is the pan-african village going to be a very great place where you still see you know species of different species of plants or trees over there and that you see people living there and you know enjoying the entire place so thank you very much for watching in case you are new and you haven't subscribed yet kindly go ahead and hit the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video you get to see it so i'll see you in the next one